Hey guys, welcome back to Tony News How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to verify eToro account. But before we start, hurry up and check out Larry Silver just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you verify your eToro account here? Well, it's actually fairly easy here, but you just need to guarantee that all information that you provide is actually correct. So first things first is you need to open up any browser here and you want to go to eToro.com and log in into your account. Now, once you've logged in, you should be able to see the welcome to eToro section, which in this case, you should be able to see the button as well that says verify. So in this case, if, if you want to verify yourself, just click on the verify button here. Now in here, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. So it's about your personal details and some things that you need to actually uh, provide like your financial status and all of those details. So in this case, I've actually provided some of the details already here. So first is you need to provide your plan investments. So in this case, go ahead and choose the appropriate one here. You also need to provide your trading strategy here. So you also need to provide some purpose of trading here. So there are going to be some questions that you need to answer, like your attitude to risk and a lot of those. So you just need to fill those up. Now in this case, it's going to say, does any of the following apply to you? So in this case, choose accordingly. And from here, it's going to actually say you're doing great. So the next page, you need to provide some of financial status and some personal information about yourself. So in this case, go ahead and fill that up. And from here, you should be able to actually uh, basically uh, confirm a few things. So in this case, the copy trading notification here. So confirm to Eater's educational tools here and general risk disclosure. Let's go and click on next. Now from here, it's going to say verify your account. Let's go and click on complete verification. And you just need to provide your password or a uh, passport or your ID card. Now, in this case, if you're going to provide your passport, it's going to be a lot faster because your passport is an international ID, is a proof of that you're for specifically a citizen of this country. But if you use an ID card here, this might take a while, but the faster option is going to be passport. So in here, once you click on it, you'll now have the option to upload your passport or your ID. Now, some information here. So make sure that your information that you provided on the previous pages actually matches your name on that ID or passport. So make sure that your name is not misspelled or your birthday and any information that matches with your ID actually matches with the information you provided. Now, in this case, once you've provided the ID here, it's going to actually submit the verification form. And from then on, you just need to wait for them to verify if your account is now verified. So they will actually review this before your account will be verified. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.